Honda Civic 8th generation it was produced in 2005 to 2011. The sedan was fundamentally different from the hatchback, including platforms. European versions were equipped with economical 1.4 and 1.8 liter VTEC engines. The sports version of the Type R, equipped in Europe with the 200 horsepower 2 liter power unit, was also in demand. In addition, a 2.2 liter diesel engine with a capacity of 140 horses was also available in some places. Honda Civic 10th generation produced since 2015. The 10th Civic was not delivered to Russia and, it seems, will not be delivered. The main engine for a sedan, hatchback, or coupe, in the USA, was a 1.5-liter turbo engine with a capacity of 176 to 200 horsepower. In the US, there is an option with the 2-liter aspirated, 160 horsepower. In Europe, Civics drive with a 3-cylinder 130-horsepower petrol engine and a 1.6-liter turbo diesel. Appearing in 2011, in 2012 she immediately went for urgent and extraordinary restyling. It so happened that the manufacturer was forced to slightly correct the miscalculations made in the quality of the model. However, changes came to Russia only by 2013, and no one particularly complained about the quality of the sedan and hatchback. The five-door was assembled in England, while the sedan came to us from Turkey. The filling of the car almost did not differ, except for the nuances in the rear suspension. In 2013, after restyling, Turkey fell away in favor of a plant in the United States. However, this leapfrog did not affect the quality. A fair Japanese supply of constructive positive, forgive us this phrase, was enough to maintain a positive image of the model. Everything was simple and reliable here, the only 141 horsepower gasoline engine, two gearboxes to choose from, MKP-6 and AKP-5, excellent equipment and a space intricate interior. This killer cocktail did not work only thanks to the unfortunate price situation. However, some people still bought a car, and people don't seem to regret it. The 9th Civic, in fact, was the modernization of the 8th, and the motor is the same, albeit modified. The 1.8 liter or 18 received a different cooling and lubrication system, a lighter crankshaft, which, fortunately, did not affect its qualities. The absence of a turbine, a chain in the timing drive, an open cooling jacket, the usual valve drive mechanism. Its resource is under 300,000 kilometers or more. The chain runs 200,000 kilometers, which is a luxury in modern times. And the oil burner becomes noticeable, 0.5 L slash 1,000 kilometers, only with a merciless and aggressive ride. With boxes, the 9 was also lucky. There is nothing to ask from the mechanics, except for replacing the clutch after a run of 150,000 kilometers. You will not show anything serious to the machine. He finally ousted the unsuccessful robot from the 8th generation. When buying a car with automatic transmission, it is worth evaluating the oil in the box. A burnt smell or black color are alarms. This means that the box has not been properly maintained or has been misused. Well, standard blows or pushes will report serious problems, the elimination of which may require a fair, although not lethal amount. So far, as you can see, there are not many reasons to bring down the price when buying a Civic. However, this does not mean that they do not exist. Turn the steering wheel from lock to lock, the Civic does not like this and in use condition will certainly respond with the tapping of the electric rack. Probably, a small backlash will also be found, which is acceptable. But if we discard the slyness, it is really worth inspecting the thrust bearings. According to statistics, they have to be changed after 100,000 kilometers. A creaking sound when turning the steering wheel will tell you about the necessary replacement. But for the suspension, a similar resource, the result is very acceptable. After hundreds of thousands of kilometers, the levers in front give up. Racks for replacement may sometimes require 200,000 kilometers at all. Only the rear axle beam is considered weak here. Not even strong, at first glance, the impact of the rear axle on the curb stone can lead to the replacement of the beam and this pleasure can now cost 40,000 rubles. In general, the sedan has surprisingly good sound insulation. The suspension is soft and comfortable, and the car holds the road better than many competitors. Stable in turns, many are satisfied with the dynamics, although with the air conditioning turned on in the version with automatic transmission, a slight lack of power is still felt. And despite the intricate and complex instrument panel and front panel, nothing particularly creaks here. Of the shortcomings in the body, 
it is worth noting only the traditionally thin paintwork for all Japanese in recent years. The Civic rusts reluctantly, and it was hard to find glitches in the electrical part even on a specialized forum on the internet. So, it turns out, you can safely take it. Moreover, even if you like the car, but there will be doubts about the heavily hackneyed automatic transmission, do not hesitate. Bargain and buy, you can buy a contract machine today for 30 to 40,000, and that the mechanics will outlive the engine at all. If we talk point by point, what to look for when buying a used Honda Civic, then in addition to general things related to the body and engine operation, we can recommend evaluating the viscosity of the oil being poured, the frequency of its replacement according to the service book. Request a history of maintenance and related procedures from the dealer, if one is still afloat, which is very doubtful. Check the condition and age of the battery, whether the shock absorbers, springs, rail have changed. Well, the state of the machine. Here we recommend computer diagnostics from specialists. Cars with a manual gearbox are almost as rare as the ninth generation Civics in the hatchback body. Engine. Valve adjustment every 45,000 kilometers. The oil change interval is reduced to 7,500 kilometers. We use oil with a viscosity of 0 W20 or 5 W20. The throttle valve is cleaned by 150,000 kilometers. The peculiarity of the motor is low idle. 650 RPM it works with vibration. For prevention, it is recommended to wash the forks every 30,000 kilometers. Transmission. The 8th Civic with a similar automatic transmission is soaked in a service station with a burning third gear pressure sensor. He changed not for expensive and did not affect the box. But the chipping of the teeth of the satellites and the wear of the differential bearings is already a serious flaw. Wear products clogged filters. So we keep an eye on the drive seals and oil. Suspension. The sedan has a multi-link rear. The hatch has a semi-dependent beam. In the five door, the beam is attached through hydra supports, the gel filling of which does not like frost. The sedan suffers differently. After 50,000 kilometers, you can expect the rear springs to sag, which is noticeable in breakdowns and tire wear. The shock absorbers of both Civics can leak in cold weather. Electric. Frost resistance is a weak feature of the Civic. The engine starts, but at the same minus 30 degrees Celsius, for example, the onboard computer screen may freeze. If it is even colder, the electrolyte in the battery will freeze. A native 45 r battery with a preheater does not last long. It is better to change it to a more capacious one. Do not light on the terminals and do not charge gadgets from the cigarette lighter. It's strict. So long. Comfortable and holds the test of time well. Behind the legs there is a flat floor. It is better to use the sofa for two. The third will be cramped. Sedan trunk volume. 440 liters. The back of the sofa can be folded back into the cabin to carry something long. By the way, there is no external button on the tailgate. The trunk opens either from the passenger compartment or with the button on the key. 